Next question is from Fit Trucker Lady. How would kettlebell swings be put into a program? Is it like cardio, strength, or conditioning? Uh, all It can be all of them. Yeah, all of the above. Yeah, if you're doing kettlebell swings for a long time with lightweight, well, now you're doing more conditioning cardio. Mm -hmm. If you do it heavy and explosively, you're more strength uh, and power. Um, I like to do, because it's a relatively ballistic movement, like a kettlebell swing is not like most resistance training movements where you're like controlling the descent. Like, in fact, if you've ever seen a bodybuilder try to do a kettlebell swing, they, they do it wrong because everything they're used to doing is controlled. So they do this weird like forward shoulder raise with the kettlebell. It's definitely different. I like to put it personally at the beginning of the workout. I'd like to warm up, get everything good and loose, start my workout with that, and then move to my traditional resistance training exercises. I don't necessarily like to do it at the end because I'm already fatigued at the end. And personally, I do it more for explosive power, mm -hmm. which if I'm at the end, I'm already fatigued. I don't feel like I'm going to get much of that you know, at the end of the workout. That's my favorite usage of it. And I think um, hard style is one that uh, resonates with me more because it's very much more of that controlled uh, hip power, hip drive. And, and that's really what uh, a lot of the benefit that I've uh, acquired from that uh, in terms of like athleticism, explosive movement. Um, you're going to generate that all from that hip hinging, you know, that driving, you know, hip power. So uh, kettlebells are like one of the best tools for that. So I, I like to program it in where I do heavy kettlebell swings for less reps. Uh, and I'm just very much controlled and uh, it, it's about it's about just like getting the, the weight to pendulum where you have maximal control and then you're driving it with all your force at once when you need to. So it's a timing thing mm -hmm. and it's also a fast, loose approach. So I've had the most uh, uh, benefit with clients that are they're trying to prime the butt before squats. So squatting or deadlifting. So if I'm about to do a hip hinge movement, uh, priming beforehand, and that looks like a five to 10 rep heavier. And you're just trying to get them to be able to explode those hips forward. Um, and I, I find it is a good way to help somebody who has a hard time feeling like squats or deads in their glutes. Uh, that's a great exercise. Although I don't, I didn't program it a lot. Um, I, those are the clients that I used it, but there, I, there, you could do any of the ones that she's suggesting. I mean, none of them are wrong. Mm -hmm. I just think it's where you, what you, what you're trying to accomplish matters the most. Of course. Right. So if you're trying to burn a bunch of calories and you want to get a good sweat on, uh, then let's grab a light one and let's do it for five or 10 minutes. And there's nothing wrong with, with doing that if that's what you want to do. Uh, if you want to really work on your explosiveness from a, coming out of the hole of a squat, then I'm going to pick a much heavier weight and I'm only going to do it probably five to 10 times on each side, something like that. So uh, that's how I would use it when I'd use it for clients. Yeah. When I used to program them, uh, if I did a full body workout, I would start the full body workout with kettlebell swings after I was primed and warmed up. If I did any kind of a split and really the only kinds of split that I've ever really done in the more recent you know time has been more of an upper lower split. If I'm in a deadlift, I like to do it before I deadlift. Otherwise, it's usually on a lower body day before squats uh, or before lunges. Not really before back day unless again, I'm deadlifting. But if I'm doing just rows and pull-ups and stuff like that, um, then I'll leave it for the leg day. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.